Um, let's, oh, I ain't got a pick. Oh, well, I'll just use dirt <laughs> to get back up. Now, is this a safe way? Fail. I knew they weren't going to be close enough. <laughs> Try again. Let me just make a way up. Okay. Now this has to be close enough. Let's try again. Dude. <laughs> Seems to be getting quite deeper. Yeah, this is the one where all the TNTs. is. So I'll just go all the way down here. <laughs> Watch it blow up. It's gonna hurt. Yep. Big hole. Let me get my torches. I can't. My mouse wheel isn't working. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're back. Now, you've just probably watched that, um, well, you have watched that explosion. <coughs> Just, just now from the end of the last episode and the reason it stopped and it skipped to here is because um, my minecraft crashed for some reason straight after that and then I couldn't start minecraft and I'm not too sure why but we're back now so it's all good now I've been messing around well since I've done that little indicator light over there I've been messing around with um with redstone in my experimental world and I've been uh I've been enjoying it a lot. Where am I going? But I've I've also been experimenting more a little bit more complicated things to do with redstone. And the one that I'm going to do now is actually need them is um a redstone Hang on, let me just sort this out. I can't speak and do things. <laughs> Is a redstone... No, not a redstone. Jesus Christ. Let me try this again. <laughs> the thing that I want to do now is a lock for your door. So basically, so there's a switch here and a button there. If you press that button, the door won't open. But if you turn the switch to on or off... No, if... Say the switch is off and you press the button, the door won't open. But say the switch put the switch on and then press the d button the door will then open if you know what I mean so I think I've just got that wrong basically when the switch is off the door won't open when the switch is on the door will open <laughs> Jesus Christ that was hard so the switch sort of acts as a <coughs> as a keyhole so it's basically a lock but what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously want to get some a button I've got two there I'll take them with me and then I'm going to need a a lever or a switch, whatever you want to call it. I'll actually make two of these. We go. But yeah, I've been enjoying the whole um uh thingy. I can't get my words out today. I'm not thinking properly. I'm too tired. <laughs> it's because I'm excited for Christmas tomorrow. Yeah, I've been experimenting with redstone quite a bit, and I'm starting to get the hang of it. So we'll see. Now I'm going to do the lock on here. I don't know how it's going to work though, because of the because of this thing here. It might work. Hopefully, we'll see. Oh, let me just go and collect all this. But first, I'm not. Oh dear, lag. I hope it's not going to crash again. Let me just dump some of this in here because I don't want it on me. Um, so let me just show you how it's basically done. If my computer will stop being retard today, now let me just lay this here because I don't want to be keep have to jump everywhere. <coughs> so basically, I'm going to put uh, three blocks there. And a redstone. Touch. This isn't going to be where it's definitely always going to be. This is just going to be for now, and then I'm going to pull it underground. 
and then you want to connect these two up and then uh, you're going to want to connect this to your door like that and then off of these is going to be the button and the um, what do you call it, so this is the input these two sides are the input going into these, I don't know if they're called inverters or whatever but then the output is coming out here and it's inputting into the door wow my computer is being really gay so on, actually where's my on this side I want this and on this side I want a button okay so let me just shut the door so it's all set up now this obviously works but if I press this button the door won't open but you can see this goes off well, the wire or the redstone dust goes on and the redstone torch goes off but if I turn this one so the wire is on and the torch is off when I press the button the door will open and for some reason oh I know it's because it is too close to the uh, the redstone down there so should it work now yes but obviously the door's gone backwards so there we go, it's just, that was just too close to the redstone that's in there for the switch hmm, I'm not too sure why it's doing that though I think that's just because of the I'm going to have to sort that out properly but for now I'll do it down here let me just throw a few more torches down so you lot can see There you go. <laughs> Try again. So that's off. So these two torches are both on now. And nothing will happen to the door. As you can see. But if I turn that on and press the button. There we go. It did that the first time because it was a uh, it was still open. <laughs> I should have shut it. But yes, as you can see, it will open and shut now every time I press that. And then if I go back over here, lock the door, nothing will happen. So that's working all cool, but what I need to do is figure out how I'm going to do it in here and I'm not going to do it now because because it will take too long but I wanted to show you that because um, because that is pretty awesome yeah so I'm not very good at it at the moment this is the first thing I've properly learned apart from this I didn't really learn that though I made it up as I went along that's a working lock so I'll implement that into here and probably eventually into the the one door there this is just going to be another door for the for the exit I just burped seems to be getting a lot of stuff here <laughs> but um yeah so if you want me to do if you want me to start doing tutorials on this sort of thing like big or little redstone stuff, I'll, if I don't know I'll find out but yes this is basically how it works I'm pretty sure there's more compact ways of doing it but this is the way I know how to do it but I'm probably just gonna move this across to here pull it underneath the footpath 
with a little entrance down here just in case there's a a problem and then I will uh, I might have to move the door across one more and then move this to here well I will it's not really a big deal to do that I'll still do it I'm gonna leave this here for now so yeah if you want me to start doing th things like these more advanced things let me know and I will because this is pretty fun to make actually I didn't realize redstone can be so fun but what I want to do is stop lagging and find a cow because I've said it in the other video but I didn't actually get around to doing it about the um, you can milk cows but the milk has no use don't kill the cow as you can see I'm getting better with arrows <laughs> oh I didn't drop anything come here cow let me milk you how can you tell if it's full or is it just that cow hasn't done it it's ah that was full then can you give me some milk please there we go I got milk yes you have to keep doing it and that is useless it doesn't do anything it just disappears when you pull it back on the floor it's really hard to see if you've got milk on it there you go I've got some there it doesn't do anything you can't drink it you can't use it for anything but um, notches on about putting it in well using it for cakes I don't know when but he's thinking about it which should be pretty cool now let me sort this out because I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I've already ex I've already planted seeds there but for some reason I don't think it worked and I did that before 1.1 underscore zero two so it's Christmas tomorrow I hope you're all excited because I know I am I'm um I won't be able to sleep tonight <laughs> no I will maybe I might put half stone steps over this water so it will still flow but um nothing will fall in there whilst I do that there you go look milk milk where's my seeds there they are so now I have video evidence that I've planted them over this side and if they don't grow over this side I'm going to know that it's a bug but yes um, after Christmas I am planning to go into the nether and do that whole thing that I was on about doing with the uh, you know building another another base of operations because I don't the world is big Minecraft world is big and I don't want to be stuck in one place all the time so I'm going to move on and one day I will come back here probably well most likely because this is the this is the only bit of civilization we have and there's still stuff I want to do around here I'll finish that mine <laughs> which I might get on in a bit but yes and if you can look I have a cape everyone's got one of these I think it's Christmas cape thanks nuts for putting them in because they're awesome we should be able to craft them I hope soon with cloth or something or other like that if I feel like actual Superman now so I'm going because I want to go and wrap some presents I hope you all have a good Christmas uh, don't get too drunk don't cause trouble Hope you have a good time with your family and friends. Other than that, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.